The underground warehouse in the desert, China spent seven billion to build. What is the use? Let's take a closer look in this video. Following China's feat of spending 37 billion yuan to build desert roads, another project against the sky was born in China, which is the underground warehouse built in the desert. It is reported that the total investment of this project is 7 billion, which is also curious, what is it used for? Now that the special purpose of this desert warehouse has been exposed, it has directly shocked the world. It turns out that it is mainly used to store natural gas in order to solve the shortage of domestic gas supply in China, when there is a global gas shortage. At the same time, it also makes a huge contribution to the reserves of natural gas resources in China. Therefore, it is not an exaggeration to call it an underground warehouse of natural gas. In this regard, foreigners have expressed that it is true that China is far-sighted. So why did China choose to build natural gas storage in such a harsh environment as the desert? What impact will the completion of this underground warehouse have on China? With global warming, the climate around the world is changing. The trend of accelerating the development of clean energy and low-carbon environmental protection is becoming more and more popular, and the development and utilization of natural gas is particularly important. According to official data, China's total conventional natural gas resources are 38.4 trillion cubic meters, and the proven geological reserves of natural gas are about 13.2 trillion cubic meters. It ranks 10th in the world's total natural gas resources, accounting for 2% of the global total, and overall it is relatively rich. However, China's natural gas production ranks only 19th in the world, and the total consumption and the proportion of natural gas in the energy consumption structure are not satisfactory. Facing the ever-increasing supply and demand of natural gas, China has been making great efforts in the construction and development of natural gas supporting facilities. The underground gas storage of the strategic reserve is a very important existence. Underground gas storage is simply a natural gas storage tank built underground. Store natural gas when natural gas consumption is low and supply China's domestic demand during peak gas consumption. It can not only realize seasonal adjustment, emergency gas supply in case of accident, but also realize national energy reserve and strategic reserve. It is an infrastructure that is of great significance to the development of the country. The higher a country's external dependence on energy, the greater the risk of energy security, and the more likely it is to be contained by other countries. Therefore, the construction of underground gas storage has maintained the stable development of China to a certain extent. Many people don't know that China's underground gas storage started relatively late, starting in the 1970s. In 1915, Canada had already started natural gas storage experiments and established the world's first underground gas storage. After that, many people found this method very practical and other countries followed suit. China's first gas storage test began in 1975 at the familiar Duching oil field. After decades of ups and downs, China's underground gas storage construction technology has become very mature, and a large number of successful examples have emerged, completely catching up with or even surpassing the level of many developed countries. China has a vast territory and rich resources, and natural gas, as a kind of underground resources, also has abundant reserves in China. Due to China's vast land area, there are relatively abundant underground natural gas reserves available for exploitation. Among them, 
The natural gas resources that can be exploited in the central and western regions account for 60% to 70% of the total natural gas resources discovered so far, and the natural gas resources in the east are relatively poor. However, China's population is concentrated in the central and southeastern regions, and the population density in the western region is relatively small, which contrasts with the distribution of underground natural gas resources. Therefore, the development and utilization of underground natural gas resources in the central and western regions, and transportation to areas with higher population density and wider demand have become the direction of development and utilization of natural gas resources in China. That's why there are projects like China's West to East Gas Pipeline Project, the purpose of which is to exploit underground natural gas resources in the West and transport them to the East through pipelines for use by residents. Such a project is undoubtedly a good project to improve people's livelihood and develop and utilize clean energy. This also determines the necessity of the construction of underground gas storage in the West. On April 20, 2020, the first gas storage group in western China, the Tuha Oilfield Wenjisang Library Group, started construction. The Wenjisang Gas Storage Group is located in Shanshan County, Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. The gas storage group has a design total storage capacity of 5.6 billion cubic meters, a working gas volume of 2 billion cubic meters, and a total investment of more than 7 billion yuan. It is expected that the on-site construction will be completed and put into operation in succession in 2025. After completion, it will also become a very representative complex gas field gas storage with low porosity, low permeability, and strong heterogeneity. Playing a role together with the already built gas storage, it constitutes a significant 20 billion cubic meters natural gas storage center in northwest China. Don't think that the Wenjisang Gas Storage Group will play a big role in the future but it encountered many problems when it was first built. First of all, the natural environment of Shanshan County is not good. It belongs to the temperate continental climate and is in a state of drought and little rain all year round. As far as the eye can see, there are only Gobi and deserts in this area. When researchers first reached the northwest, all they saw was yellow sand and it is difficult to build a group of highly secure and stable gas storage here. We all know that the yellow sand itself is extremely loose and unstable, coupled with the complex terrain here, so the staff must think of countermeasures in advance when designing. Combining the experience of Daqing Oilfield in 1975 and the technological breakthrough of China's fourth national gas storage, the staff creatively put forward the theory of complex geological body dynamic space ceiling. Breakthroughs have been made in the restricted area of complex fault block selection reservoirs, expanding the scope of improvement of depleted gas reservoirs. After these theories are applied to practice, the problem of difficult utilization of gas storage space is quickly and effectively solved and the utilization rate of storage capacity of gas storage is improved to the extreme. It is worth mentioning that China has also proposed and created the risk early warning and control technology for the whole process of gas storage operation. This technology not only played an important role in northwest China, but also formed a risk management system for underground gas storage refreshing the world's understanding of natural gas storage. After developing this technology in China, it was quickly promoted to build more gas storage facilities across the country. Under the guidance of this integrated system technology, China has built 27 underground gas storages, 
most of which are distributed in North China, Northwest China, Southwest China, Northeast China, etc., with a peak shaving capacity of around 12 billion cubic meters. It took China 20 years to complete what Europe and the United States took 50 years to develop. This set of technologies also ended the history of no natural gas storage in China. It is estimated that by 2030, China's natural gas regulation peak capacity will reach 100 billion cubic meters, truly meeting the huge market demand. Not only that, China will not be satisfied with the status quo and will continue to explore and research on the basis of existing construction to promote the coordinated development of oil field construction and gas production. So what impact will the completion of Wenjisang Underground Gas Storage Group have on China? In fact, because China's natural gas resource extraction is not high, it only ranks 19th in the world, but the total amount ranks 10th. It is conceivable how much potential China has in the field of natural gas. Combined with the development and utilization of natural gas in China, the southeast coastal areas have long relied on imports. Therefore, China can only continue to improve its own technical level to formulate a gas storage inventory plan for itself and effectively solve the problem of insufficient gas sources in the development of China's natural gas industry in order to meet people's growing demand for natural gas. After decades of continuous research, China Natural Gas has finally made a breakthrough in the core technology of complex underground gas storage. It is believed that after the successful completion of the Wenjisang Underground Gas Storage Group, together with all the gas storages, it will become China's most solid resource backing and the country's most important strategic reserve. It is worth mentioning that the underground gas storage will not only play an important role after completion. In fact, during the construction process, it also drives local economic development, promotes local employment, effectively improves the quality of life of residents in western China, and increases the income of local residents. In the future, China will continue to steadily promote the construction of underground gas storage in accordance with the plan. In the next 10 years, China will expand 10 gas storage groups and build at least 23 new gas storages. In addition to the underground gas storage clusters distributed in northwest China, the importance of building giant gas storage centers in northeast China, North China, Southwest China and Midwest China to allow natural gas to enter thousands of households is self-evident. Coupled with the global demand for energy conservation and emission reduction, increasing the proportion of natural gas in the energy structure has become a mainstream trend. The reason why China chooses to build large-scale natural gas storage clusters is also in line with the historical trend and the needs of its own development. No wonder the whole world was surprised when China proposed underground warehouses. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.